Hello and welcome to Old Lady Plays. I'm Kate, the old lady, and this is Tips for the Advanced Football Manager, episode 22. And, well, today's topic is that praise can be the most dangerous game. Praising players, it's tricky. It is hard to do in a way that will not upset them. Uh, or not will not upset them, but m won't upset them, uh, if you, if that makes sense. Um, sometimes you can praise people and they'll react perfectly fine. But if they are a perfectionist or somebody like that, or a model citizen, or very professional, or various other personalities, you will find that if you praise them too much, or praise them too highly for too little that they will get upset or not upset but they lose respect for you um, in that they f they will respond by saying you know well I didn't think I was that good but okay I guess our standards are different um, you know and it, they, they end up confused and to some extent demotivated by the fact that they're their um, gaffer is, is willing to praise them for something that they didn't think was all that great. Um, so it's important when you praise to be careful to make sure that you know what you're praising for. So instance, uh, if you are praising for recent form, um, you want to make sure there are no bad games in that recent five game stretch. All right. If there's a 6.3 in there, and it doesn't matter if all four of the other games are 8.8s. You've got a shot at finding a player who's going to say, well, I think my standards are a little higher than yours. Because as far as they're concerned, all they can see is that a really rotten game in the middle. Um, same can happen in games. You can find that praise can be inspiring when it's shouted, or it can be pressuring or overwhelming. Um, or sometimes disinteresting, like uh, causing disinterest. That that can happen, absolutely. And it's, again, it's about the players respecting your standards. You need to have standards that are high enough that they will have to constantly strive to meet them. You don't want to set your standards at a level where they can meet them easily. Because if they can meet them easily, they will meet them but they'll stop there they're not going to drive on and try and get the, the higher level so for instance you know when you get those um so and so played an outstanding game um you know and you get the option to praise them i don't do it unless they got at least nine or they got at least two goals or a goal and two assists um i've got standards for when i will praise them and um, I stick to those, and so, you know, when I do dole one out, it has more effect, all right? Um, and and players want to play to that standard. I don't know how it works. I don't know how they do it, but I know that it does seem to work, that players will play to a higher standard if you hold them to a higher standard. Um, and praise is one of the ways you can do that, and withholding your praise until you get the 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 level of high professionalism that you really want to see is a, a really useful way of managing the team's um the, the team's performance um which is what this is all about so just to bring it all back to managing a football team what you're trying to do is make it so that your team is performing at its most efficient and they will do that when they are striving to meet the standards that you are setting set them too high and they'll they'll just give up set them too low and they'll get to the, your standard and then just give up and laze around because they know that you'll accept it so it's very useful to be sparing with your praise Similarly, you want to be sparing with your criticisms, but that's another story, and we'll talk about that another time. I hope you found that useful. Uh, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day, and take care.